growing up, you know, basketball was a big part of my life. <laughs> um, my mom was my coach from, I mean, what grade? <laughs> Kindergarten. Yeah. Um, she played Division One basketball. She was one hell of a player. Um, me and my mom, it was my mom and I's thing. Dad can't play basketball. Sorry, Dad. Um, but it was my mom and I's thing, and and I mean, we enjoyed it. I mean, it was every weekend out in the driveway shooting. Uh, two years ago, she was diagnosed with ALS. And I didn't know what was gonna happen, but a year later, she passed away. And the next day, I was at practice because I knew that's where she wanted me to be. And, I mean, a week later, I was playing with them, and I mean, it was a good feeling to be on the court, but I mean, she was the camera lady. She videotaped every game. She was there taking pictures. I mean, everyone enjoyed everything she did on the court. Basketball was her life, and I mean, my sister played, but you know, I took her, I take it really seriously, and that was where my mom and I had the connection, and you know, I mean, I still feel her on the sidelines, but I just want to play. <laughs> D1, D2, D3, I just, I just want to play for her. I mean, on the back of our shirts, it says next play KG, and on the game, you make a bad play, next play, right? But when this happened, it was, it opened my eyes, and life became more than just basketball. It became, it, I mean, next play turned from the basketball court to my real life. I've been coaching the Comets for 15 years, and I started coaching Catherine when she was in seventh grade, uh, and she's been with us for five years now. Um, her mom was the team mom of our team. We always sat down in the restaurants and always dissected the games with her, and uh, she was like another coach uh, around the team. We called her, we called, when they were younger, we, we did call her Coach Kim. I respected everything she gave us. She was very big on helping us with uh, our post players, and she would really just supported this organization and, and these kids. And Catherine and I were very, very close throughout her mom, you know, uh, slowly dying. Um, we all stood together and, and said that the rest of the summer is going to be for, for Mrs. Greenhut. And, uh, you know, every play we make, every memory we make, every time we're together, um, we're not just a team, we're a family. We support each other, and it's been a blessing having Catherine a part of this. Um, and her teammates have been so mature, so remarkable. She's been such a leader of that, and her, the strength that she's shown has been incredible. Get back on the court literally the next day. Um, and I'm so proud that you know she wears a Comets uniform and that I've had the opportunity and my staff and my sister and my friend Aaron to, to be a part of her journey. And you know, we kept we kept said to her, like, you know, we'll be there for the next play on the court and further going through life through college and forever. You know, I told her I'm not worried about what's going on, on the court. We're more worried about you just being able to smile tomorrow. And um, so then the whole team, you know, we all went together to the funeral and it was the most remarkable thing I think I've seen 17 year olds do, their parents, them, and uh, life became bigger than basketball for our team this year. And I think these kids learned through one of their best friends that um, what strength looks like. These kids are some of the best kids I've ever been around. Um, they adore each other, they play for each other, um, they're great friends. We've had a blast, it's been a blessing. Um, the Comets is a special organization and I'm so proud of each and every one of them um, for everything that we've done on the court, but most especially off the court. The, the games are going to end, the days are going to end, but these kids, their parents, our coaching staff, we're going to be a family forever. We know that you know Kim's watching from above, but I wish she was here to be able to see this team and, and her daughter right now.